Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at how we can produce a spoon. How we can change something like this to something like this. Not really. Okay, like not at all. So that was a really bad example. But what we're going to do to learn how to make your bike look way more expensive than you can afford. And that's most important. What we need is something to polish. Plastic doesn't polish too well, so we're not going to polish that. But we do have this nice, completely new derailleur. And my old one, as you can see, because this wire is a bit old, we definitely need to change the entire thing. May need to change like the suspension and stuff as well, but um, we're going to start uh, with just the uh, derailleur. It's not really up to par. So what I want to do is uh, polish this up. So it's going to be quite tough, I think, but um, We'll see what we can do. And I also like the look, you know, some parts being the raw finish and some parts just staying uh, in this dark color. What do we need? Some sandpaper, is that? No, that's not what it's called. So we need some wet, wet uh, grinding paper and uh, this is a uh, 600 grit. Then I have a thousand, 1,500 and 2,000. I also have this pad thing. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it We'll see if we do that. In the end, you will also need some foreskin and some metallic polish. Taking a look here, I'm way too lazy to do this into like a three billion hour project. I mean, I want to go ride my bike. I really don't want to be doing this sort of stuff. But it is important that your bike looks nice. And you can see this uh, is a quite complex shape. So many of these areas I think just would be really hard to polish up. So I'm looking for like big flat areas and an obvious choice is uh, the lower part. This should be easy enough to grind down. Maybe I can even like polish just this part and this part. I don't know, we'll see what I do. So like around these pins, it will be super hard because then you need to disassemble it. Otherwise they're gonna look quite crappy. But I think we can do some nice um, improvements on this in regards to the aesthetics without spending our whole life doing it. The, the jockey wheels are definitely coming off. Ooh, that's smooth. Okay, so removing this Nice! I mean, this part we can definitely work with. That's a really good thing. So, away with the wheels. To start off, I just want to use some drinking water here to uh, get rid of the, the grease that was on this part. Voila! And we are going to use a wet grinding technique. Yeah, future Mr. Fro right here. And do you see me using that camera as like a B-roll? Very nice idea. Did I delete all that footage? Yes. I was a bit strapped for space on my phone and I needed to take a dick pic and yeah, I sort of deleted all, all the B-roll. <laughs> yeah, I know my Tinder profile has been lacking the past few months, so I, I hope you forgive me, but uh, yeah. Let's keep watching the A-roll. So this is what we have right now, that piece. You can see it's like a few ridges here. I don't want to like grind those ones down. Yeah, I'm gonna probably start like above that little ridge. Keep this area black and then move my way here. This is the 600 grit. I was going to start at this little ridge part. Let me see what happens here. I guess, what do you think about the bikes that have like this sort of finishing on the frame? I think like uh, Trek and YT. Uh, industries did like a bike with that sort of paint job. 
just looking like old. Isn't that like buying those pants with holes in them? So uh, patience is probably key right here. Okay, I feel like that um, 600 paper is way too um, fine for like just getting rid of the initial paint. So I have this, uh, it's a 240, so it's a bit probably too heavy. Sorry, scissor. I think it's gonna be faster to remove the paint with this. And there's also like ways to remove the paint without grinding it down. But I actually think it can be nice to grind it down a bit, because um, then you can like chamfer the edges a bit as well. So let's see here if we can make something happen with uh, 240 paper. Yeah, so that was a lot faster. So I'm gonna keep doing that. This will create uh, some serrations and, but I think we can get those away with the next paper. So it doesn't really matter for now. I made this little line at the ridge here and I'm not gonna go past it. I'm not gonna go past it on this side either. But I'm thinking about, you know, that little hook, polishing that one and then maybe a chamfered line all along this edge. And then this little tooth there can actually follow down into that line. There's always like one little piece that won't come off. Maybe you can see even that the light changed because this has taken quite a while. But um, I am getting there. So I'm chamfering the edges just a bit. Uh, I don't want to like scrape off material because I mean, this is supposed to be like, because I don't think it's a good idea to like weaken this. You see here, I have a new edge. Here we're getting that raw finish. So moving up to the 600 grit paper now. So we have a bit some chamfered edges here and I actually want to like file them down just a bit to get a bit of a smoother edge. So I'm just applying just like if you were to like grind the knife edge or something. I'm adding a bit of an angle. Bringing it down slightly so you can see that it becomes more of a rounded shape here. And maybe we're saving some grabs boys so we can go super fast. We're moving up to a thousand grit now. So we're starting to get that bit of a polished look. Okay, we're moving up to the 1.5K grit. that and now I think I'm gonna move on to the bigger part which is this side and I actually think I'm just gonna do the lower cage here and leave this one be I'm um, actually think I'm just gonna start with like actually removing this logo and taking that edge making it like super shiny and also maybe this part uh, so I'm keeping the like extrusion uh, black but yeah I guess I'll show you the result when I'm done you, uh, you know what I'm noticing right now? That the color on this part is way easier to remove. It's like, I can just scratch here a bit. 
and it's like coming off pretty easily. So that's a, that's a good sign. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Starting to look like something, right? Yeah. See that line and that line? Super annoying, extremely annoying. It's like I'm trying to like grind it out. You guess I have to take away a bit more material to actually get in there. It's like a groove in the, in the metallic. I don't know if you can see it. It's like ee -ee. and the paint of course is in there. But uh, I will try, I will try. Wow, we're getting messy over here. Okay, we're doing the 600 paper now on the other side here. This shouldn't take too long actually. Okay, now so we've gone through all the different grits with the sandpaper. And there's a few places that I can improve on, but you know what? It's a derailleur and not, no one's gonna look at it like Oh, I think that you missed a spot right there. This looks like garbage. No, that's not going to happen. How often do you look super close on someone's bike? You don't do that. That's why sometimes those upgrades are really weird like Yeah bro, so I got that the titanium spacer thing and it's, a, it's like a super nice tone of silver. Okay, so let's polish this one. See where we end up. Look at that. This is crazy. Hang on. Hooey! Look at that shine, dude. That's crazy. That is a mirror polish. That's like, wow. Bro, Migo. I'm gonna say this looks pretty nice. Like I said, there are a few spots that I could improve on, but I don't really mind. It's gonna get banged up anyways. Um, but I think this definitely makes it look a bit more custom, right? But yeah, this is one way to make your GX derailleur look a bit more cool and fun. And didn't take too long, I mean, if I was to disassemble it and do it like properly, definitely would be a bigger job. This is just a small job, a mouthful of a job. So uh, yeah, to this I'm gonna put on a new shifter cable as well. Um, oops, <laughs> I did not finish this video. Um, all right, <laughs> welcome back like half a year later. And uh, yeah, let's look at the end result. Um, I think it looks really dope you know um, and it wouldn't be a throw ride video if we didn't just give up halfway <laughs> and not finish the entire thing 
but you know what? It's the thought that matters, and I'm really thinking hard. So, um, and now, <laughs> obviously I haven't mounted it, um, but we have it to look at, you know? That's gonna look like a billion bucks, so... <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you next time where we don't finish another project. Bye bye! If you're wondering why I'm shooting this behind this little curtain here, my house actually tried to kill me last uh, weekend. Oh yeah, klar. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! We used like repainting the ceiling, but uh, now we don't even have a ceiling.